Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we will be talking about five reasons the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra destroys the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Both of these smartphones are high-level and expensive smartphones. But when you buy the S24 Ultra, you get more features for the money spent, more bang for your buck, especially with the new capabilities the S24 Ultra offers. So in this video, we will detail five things that the iPhone 15 Pro Max simply doesn't offer as a feature set. So let's dive in and get started right away. All right, so the very first thing I want to talk about has to do with the display. So up until recently, the iPhone actually had a better display than the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, not in terms of quality. In terms of quality, they were equal, but in terms of brightness, iPhone had a maximum brightness level of 2000 nits. So that made it look brighter and also more visible in outdoor conditions. But now the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra has maximum peak brightness of 2600 nits. So it has caught up in that instance to the iPhone, which is great news. It has reestablished itself as the display leader, which makes sense because it is also interesting to note that the iPhone's display mostly are supplied by Samsung. So it only makes sense Samsung uses the best display technology in their own phones. That's number one. Number two is the overall frontal design of these two smartphones. You can see that the iPhone has a large pill-shaped cutout in their display, while the S24 Ultra has a small hole cutout. When you're watching movies, when you're playing games side by side, the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra simply feels more immersive as you watch videos, movies, or play video games on these devices. There is no question about that. And also, both of these phones do have nice, even bezels, but again, that pill-shaped cutout cut cuts into the movie watching or video watching experience, whether you're watching full screen or if you're watching movies, maybe on Netflix, even using the regular aspect ratio, you can see that pill-shaped cutout is biting into the actual viewing experience, while the S24 Ultra looks more like a high-definition TV with maximum immersion and minimum intrusion. So that's number one, superior display on the S24 Ultra all around, both in terms of brightness, design, and presentation, in my opinion. All right, the next thing we're gonna be talking about is AI capabilities, artificial intelligence. So basically, the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra is loaded with AI features. So if I go to my advanced features, and if I go to advanced intelligence, I have all these AI features and more built in to the phone for specific applications to give you AI experience. Basically, the iPhone has nothing to show on the AI side. So it is completely missing AI features. So let me just give you a couple examples of the AI features in the S24 Ultra so you get an idea of how useful they are when they're built into your phone. So for example, let's talk about the note-taking capabilities. We have Samsung Notes on this phone and we have the regular notes on the iPhone. Now Samsung Notes is going to be more advanced simply because of AI features. So let's go over here and launch Samsung Notes. I'm gonna show you guys an example. So let's tap on this one. Here's something that's written in Spanish, okay? So this application, because it is AI powered, is gonna have an AI symbol button at the bottom. When you tap on it, it selects a portion of the text, or you can also make it select the whole thing, okay? And gives you four AI features. Now first one, I'm gonna do quick translate. Tap on translate, okay? I'm going to translate this to English, tap on translate, and look at this. Instantly, it translates that entire Spanish into English. I can tap on replace, now I have the English text. Now, that's not everything, of course. I can tap this again. Let me just tap here, select everything, and look at this. Let's say you were about to give a presentation. You can simply tap on summarize, okay? And it's going to create a summary out of the paragraph that you selected. You can select the whole text, hundreds of pages, or even 10 pages, doesn't matter. It's going to create a nice summary for you guys, which is going to also be nice and organized. So if I tap on replace, now that is my summary I can use to present my presentation. Let me go back, show you one more thing real quick. So let's uh, do again, tap on intelligence. Okay, let's select everything. And let's say you want to go into a meeting and you want to have a meeting with your colleagues. Tap on meeting notes, okay? 
it's going to take that text and it's going to cre create a bunch of meeting notes and they're all going to be nice and organized as you can see. All the titles and these subtitles and these bullet points are created by AI and it all makes sense and you can scroll over and you can create these different formats. So look at this over here. I'm done. Okay, I'm ready to have a meeting in a nice, concise manner. So that's one example. I'll give you one more. So if I pinch the screen and if I go to wallpaper and style, again, iPhone has it too. We have wallpaper, wallpaper screen right here. They look very similar, but here's where things are different. So when I go to change wallpapers, if I go down over here, I have a creative option. This is all AI powered. Tap on creative. And let's look at generative AI wallpapers. Okay, so I get this screen and I can create something new. You can see these are AI generated wallpapers made completely on the fly. Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick example. So basically, let's say I want to create something imaginary or maybe I'm going to create a terrain, whatever. Let's go with imaginary. Okay, you get a text. I tap on a surreal lamp. So I'm going to say a surreal building. Okay. I'm going to say made out of, let's say cotton or silk, and then I want to choose a color. I'm going to say burgundy and maroon. I'm going to tap on generate, and that is going to generate a brand new wallpaper based on the parameters I just gave it. Okay, so these are the wallpapers I can use. These are completely fresh wallpapers. Let's tap on set. So look at how nice this one looks. Not something you can do with the iPhone, okay? So you can download wallpapers, obviously, but you cannot do it this way. Look at this, beautiful. And when I go back in here into the wallpapers, creative, just to show you guys it's all different, here's a wallpaper I just made. If I tap it again, I get the same parameters. I can tap on generate again, and what that is gonna do is it's gonna recreate something entirely different based on the same parameters and that's why it is AI because it's not the same every time. Look at this stuff. It's absolutely beautiful and creative and imaginary as you can see. Go to T-Rex and then I'm going to say I want it to be pop art style. Tap on generate and that is going to generate a T-Rex on the beach and it's going to be extremely unique. It's also going to give you a couple of different options. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. All right, tap on this again to get a new look if you don't like what it made the first time. So these are some AI features that are built in to the smartphone, okay, which are amazing. Again, they are bundled right over here. There's a whole bunch of, so in that respect, the S24 Ultra is also ahead of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. The next thing I wanna talk about has to do with multitasking features. Now, first, before that, I'm gonna show you something that's actually better on the iPhone, so let's bring that up. I'm gonna bring a, a benchmarking tool here, okay, Geekbench, that measures the processing power and all that stuff. So when you look at the results here, let's go to CPU benchmark and look at the history. You can see that the iPhone is, in fact, faster than the S24 Ultra. In the multi-core score, it is a little bit faster. On the single core score, it is much faster, as you can see. But despite all that power, we still don't have multitasking capabilities all you can do here is just play with one window at a time, as you can see, okay? So you cannot have multiple windows or pop-up windows. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So right over here, I'm gonna launch cal calculator. Now I'm gonna pull this up, okay? I'm gonna tap right here, I'm gonna say split screen. Now I can go and I can pick something else at the bottom so I can have multitasking happening. So let's say I was doing some mathematical calculations, financial calculations. I could have one app right here or a website right here that I can reference and I can use a calculator on the top to make my calculations. And I can also tap and do things like this, just switch them over. It's very nice and smooth and they stay on the corner as you can see. So that's one form of multitasking you can achieve with the S24 Ultra in a nice smooth fashion. Not available on this guy, even though like I said, it's got faster processing capability, but it's still not giving you that feature for some reason, okay? That's just one, one way to multitask. Another way to multitask, let's say I have Samsung Notes over here. Let's just pull up Samsung Notes. Let's think I was taking some notes. What I can also do is I can tap over here. I can tap on this. I can say pop-up. Now I can have this as a pop-up as if it was a computer. Now here's the crazy part. I can tap here. 
I can minimize this and I can have it on the side. I can have multiple windows just on the screen like this. And you can see it's super smooth, okay? So let's say I'm doing some research, then I wanna go over here, take a quick note. Okay, fantastic. I can minimize it and move on. So that's the pop-up window. And I can do that with any application. Calculator, boom, tap, pop-up. Okay, so I can have the calculator sitting on side as needed. So if I'm, again, doing something financial, I, I look at my financial stuff and I tap on this, do my calculation, and then I put it back down again, as you can see, or maximize it as you just saw. So that's multitasking capabilities on the S24 Ultra you do not get on the iPhone, despite its higher processing power. Again, you're getting more features for the money spent. All right, the next thing I wanna be talking about has to do with the S Pen, which is a powerful tool. It is a multifunctional tool. Primarily, obviously, it is designed so you can sketch on your phone. You can create masterpieces just like this, as you can see by using these pens and stuff like that in the built-in applications. So if you have the skill, you can simply draw things like this, as you can see. This is absolutely beautiful. Now beyond that, it also has powerful productivity features. So I can bring up the air command, I can tap on create a note, I can take notes on the go, or even take notes in the classroom using the precision of the S Pen, which is fantastic. And I can also use this pen to simply control my device, which just is something cool to do, okay? Now on top of that, this is a Bluetooth enabled S Pen. So I can use this to control the smartphone remotely. Let me show you an example. So let me go to the gallery here, okay? Here's a bunch of photos. So I'm gonna tap on this one right here. And basically using the button that is built into the S Pen, I can do a presentation of these photos. So press, goes to the next photo, press again, goes to the next photo. And I can do this from a distance, by the way. I don't have to be right next to the phone. It is Bluetooth enabled, so I can walk away and do it from a distance, as you can see, okay? So that is not a problem at all. So that is remote control functionality. I can also go to the camera and use this as a shutter button to take a photo. Look at this, press, it's taking a photo, okay? Or if I go to video, I can use this to record a video and I can do this from a distance, which is great for group photos where it may be hard for you to access the shutter button. You can just use this one and that's gonna be no problem. And again, one more thing with this remote control functionality is if I go to, let's say, YouTube Music over here and let's just play something. Okay, look at this. I can use this again, play and pause. Or I can double tap and go to the next track or triple tap to go to the previous track and all that stuff, okay? So that is absolutely great. Sketching tool, productivity tool, and also a remote control for your smartphone. iPhone does not offer any of this despite the very similar price tag. All right, the next feature we're gonna be talking about is a battery-related feature. So on the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, we have this amazing and highly useful feature known as wireless power sharing that allows you to charge other devices on the back of the smartphone. Now the iPhone does have the MagSafe capability, but it still does not offer built-in wireless charging of other devices on its back. So here's an example. I'm gonna turn the feature on. Okay, now it's ready to go. Now I'm gonna flip the phone over. I'm gonna put it like this. Then I'm gonna grab my earbud, or I can get another phone, whatever you want. Anything that is wireless charging compatible, you can put it right here and it's gonna to start to actually charge that product, as you can see, and that is very useful, especially for companion accessories like the earbuds. So if the battery of this thing dies on the go, you just put it on the back of your phone, charge it for a little bit, just in case. So a fantastic little feature that is available on the Samsung, but not on the iPhone. Again, you're getting more stuff for the money spent. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video, guys. These are the five reasons the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra destroys the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now, there are more reasons, but in this video, we only covered five. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day.